Hi all, Mark here with the Exiles, um, and tonight we're teaching uh, an unarmed level one class. Um, so I want to get straight into the video this evening, um, and the bits I want to video is uh, our striking drills. So um, we have lots of striking drills in level one, and bear in mind, as I've said previously, um, our level one curriculum is there to give students a foundation, okay, to layer the rest of the system on top. So when we're doing striking drills, um, some people have never done any strikes before. Um, so we have some drills just to build that familiarity. Um, and of course, when you're grappling, especially in this system, you can expect strikes. Um, so it's important that students get a good foundation of what strikes look like. Um, so I'm not gonna cover all of the striking in this video that we're gonna do tonight, because um, it's only gonna form part of the class, but the two, the two exercises I am gonna focus on um, is called the eight strikes drill and then the rolling hands drill. And I'll explain those in a bit more detail as we go through. As I say, two exercises, okay? The eight strikes drill and the rolling hands drill. So we'll start with the eight strikes drill first. And I'm conscious that although you guys have done some striking before, um, we need to start building in muscle memory and, and getting your bodies moving behind the strikes, okay? So we'll build up the eight strikes drill sequentially, okay? So what you need is with a left hand lead, okay? from Posta Frontale, which you guys have done before, what you're gonna do is a jab with a small step forward with your left hand, okay? And then you're gonna recover this back to Frontale and then go across yourself with the right hand, okay? And remember what we did before. So a little gather to give some emphasis on that strike. And then you're moving the hip and twisting the knee when you sit in your right hand. Okay, and when we do the eight, eight strikes drill, we'll be doing them one set with fists, knuckles, and then the other set with open hands. Okay, so practice mixing them both up. Okay, so show you good from frontale. A little gather with your jab, we're using knuckles this time. Hip and foot twist through to give you, for example, your cross with an open hand. Okay? Will that one always be flat, open palm, or will that be also? It could be both, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just practice both. You guys were just doing from pasta frontale. You were doing with a step, a little jab, and then you're doing a cross with a nice twist to the hip and a nice, we call this putting out a cigarette. Okay, I stole that phrase from someone who knows much more about striking than I do. It's putting out a cigarette, because when you put a cigarette, you do this. It's exactly the same action. So I'm twisting with my hip, with my feet. You don't do this all the time. This is just one example of many different ways to strike. But those are your first two strikes. Jab with a step, cross with a twist, okay? This hand comes out, that's when I then roll straight away into what's called the lead left hook. Okay, because it's a lead because it's over my front foot. So I've done my lead left hook, this comes when I do my rear right hook. Okay, so those are the next two strikes. Okay, so put them together, I've got jab, cross, this comes up, there's my high left, there's my high right. Okay, basically we've got to start somewhere. So when you start striking, You'll be moving and rolling with things, okay? But you've got to start relaxing your body. And this is the perfect drill just to start getting used to hitting things and just relaxing things up, yeah? We're just putting a whole bunch of strikes together to build it into a drill where you can start being really fluid with your striking, okay? So those are the next two strikes. So we've got our first four strikes, okay? So just as a recap, we had from Frontale, and we'll be doing a jab with a step, a cross with a twist, targets out, hook off the lead hand, hook off the rear hand. The next two targets are low hook with the left and low hook with the right. Now, these strikes generally aren't designed to put end on end. Okay, you might do combinations of different ones. So you might put a strike, no, I might go one, two, and throw in a left hook. Or I might go one, two, throw in a low left hook. Or I might go one, two, throw in an uppercut to close and grapple. So we're putting them together as a drill, but it's a little bit artificial, okay? But I need a way of you working through all of your striking. So we're going to obviously add in those two elements now. So we're going to go jab and step, cross with a twist. This target comes out nice and close because you wouldn't hook at distance. So look, hook to the head, hook to the head. This is low. Hook to what would be the side, the flanks. And then a hook to the other side. So then we've got our six first six strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, first six. Then we'll add the other two in a second. Okay? Nearly there. So the last two elements are two hooks, and then it becomes eight strikes. So uh, going in order, so we were going from frontale, we were doing a step in this case, 
One, two, high hook, high hook, low hook, low hook. The next one off the left hand is lead uppercut, rear uppercut. Okay? And obviously you can do any combination you want after this, but this is just a good set piece drill. One, two, nice and close, because I wouldn't do this at distance. Three, four, low, five, six, uppercut, seven, eight. Yeah? Now, remember what I said earlier on about the difference between knuckles and open hands. Okay, with this drill, you'll do both. So you'll go through everything with your knuckles, then everything with open hands, okay? Because you may not always want to punch someone in the head, you might break your hand, but it's your choice, okay? I know people that prefer it, people that don't, I'll give you the choice. Um, and that is the eight, eight strikes drill, okay? Now, I gave an example earlier on about instances where you may mix up different combinations, okay? Just bear in mind, just to emphasize again, that this is just a set piece, okay, just a drill. Okay, we'll do another bunch of drills after this, but eight strikes drill, okay? Nice, okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, great, so we got through our eight strikes drill, okay? We're gonna move on to what we call rolling hands. So you've all actually all done this before. But just to give some of these strikes a bit of context, these are just the options that I cho chose. So when I, you know, my eight strikes drill is always the same. Jab, cross, high hook, high hook, low hook, low hook, lead uppercut, rear uppercut, okay? Because I have millions of drills like this. But the strikes that I asked you to make were specific, okay? So I said to you, with the jab, I said, step with it, okay? You don't have to step with every jab you make. If I'm close, I'm just gonna punch it, yeah? Similarly with the cross, okay? I'm at distance so I can wind everything and hit it, yeah? If I'm a bit closer, I can just hit him, right? So those are just the strikes or the variations of the strike that I chose. A couple of important things. If you're hooking at something, remember this is a grappling system. So if I'm hooking at something, I'm doing it close. So when I hit this pad, in reality, this is someone's head, okay? So this 90 degrees at the elbow is really, really important. And I've talked to you guys about different variations of wrist angle and stuff like that. Palm, etc. So we, we're all good with that. If I'm doing a low hook, yeah, so the pad man was here, I'm punching it like this, or palming it like that. This is obviously another close range strike, it's here, bosh, yeah? Similarly with your uppercuts, okay? You can lead with an uppercut right out here, okay? Bosh, bosh, whatever, yeah? But really, what I was thinking of in this particular instance is being close again, so just hooking up, yeah? Doesn't matter whether it's lead or rear, lead or rear, all right? But just be mindful that the variations of the strikes we choose can change. Okay, but you've done your eight strikes, so perfect, beautiful. The next drill is rolling hands. Okay, you've all done this before. The pad person puts their hands like this. Okay, and what they do is they move around. Okay, and they can either keep the pads like this or put the pads like that. They can keep twisting their arms around. And it's my job, either at distance or close in, to send in an appropriate strike depending on what angle that pad is on. So this is perfect for a left hook, yeah? This is perfect for a low uppercut. This helps your brain choose the appropriate strikes at any given target, okay? And of course, this develops so that you start applying that to a body. Look, there's a head, I can uppercut it. There's a side of head, I can hook it. Um, and in terms of, because he's got his hands like this and he's rolling them, you'll notice it's very hard for me to do straight strikes. That's okay, I don't have to make hard contact. So I can do all my straight strikes. There's a jab, there's a look, good low uppercut perhaps. He's got to keep it nice and high, but I can do, I don't have to hit the pad to do these. Look, perfect, yeah? One, two, pads there, right hook, little bit of distance, but I'm choosing an appropriate strike. This is building your muscle memory, okay? So let's give that a go. So my rolling hands drill. So I think I covered this in the vlog before. But it's muscle memory to me is, is absolutely vital, okay? Your brain needs a way of recognizing a target and delivering an appropriate action, okay? In this case, we're doing strikes. So this is just great for muscle memory, okay? And really, really key. So these people have only been striking with us for a couple of sessions. So that was two uh, of the drills that I use um, in our level one for striking. So we had uh, the eight strikes drill, um, which I hope come across okay on the video. And then we have the rolling hands drill. Um, so just a nice short video tonight. Those are two of several drills that we do. Again, to just give that foundation to our guys uh, for striking with the system. As I've said in a, a recent vlog, uh, we strike here um, only to close and grapple, okay? Fury's all about closing dislocating, breaking and putting to ground. So we're only striking to build an appreciation of striking into our training, okay? And to employ that striking 
in the grapple. Okay, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and remember to support us by subscribing. Until next time.